Hey, what's up, guys? I just wanted to update some of you guys on uh, the Morimoto um, JL marker light issue that um, we were having with the random flashes. I was talking with Matt from the Retrofit Source. We've been trying to find a solution. He finally was able to get his hands on one of these JLs that had the issue. And uh, what they determined was uh, he had to solder in a capacitor and a diode <clears throat> and in a, in a certain configuration. And I have a picture of it, but it's not going to matter because they are going to send out an adapter for everybody who already has these lights um, that you're just going to you're going to plug into your harness. It's just going to be like an extra connector that goes in between the, the, the current connection. So, um, you know, no big deal. Plugs right in and then I'll go ahead and fix the problem. And then they are updating the circuitry and the new boards for the upcoming lights so that uh, this isn't a problem in the future. So sounds like we're at the end of this. Uh, I've got one set of hacked up lights and I've got one set that uh, are unmolested. And uh, he sent me the picture of what you got to do as far as if you want to rig it yourself and don't feel like waiting for the adapter. And it's no big deal. It's a capacitor between uh, the black and the yellow or yeah, capacitor at the black and the yellow, but at the connector side and then a, a diode in line. Um, I don't really think it's worth rigging yourself. I think you're better off to wait for their, their adapter. I'm sure it'll be out soon. Um, I'm not going to, I'm just gonna wait for the adapter. And um, anyway, yeah, sounds like uh, easy fix and they got it uh, They got it worked out. I'm gonna probably grab a capacitor because I already have the diodes and throw them in because I have that extra set just to make sure it works on mine too. But, um, but yeah, it sounds like we got a solution and uh, I'll update you as soon as I get the, uh, the parts. So thanks for watching guys.